Are you guys tired of finding great Amazon FBA products just to go to Alibaba to figure out your margins just don't work? Or you're on Alibaba talking to all these manufacturers and all the prices are just way too high or all over the place, you don't know what's fair or not? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to bypass Alibaba's crazy prices and go straight to the manufacturer in China to get the real prices that you would get in China using 1688. Okay guys, I'm sure you've heard of 1688 before, but not a lot of people know how to use it correctly and know how to navigate it so you find the best manufacturers, the best pricing, and know how to ultimately contact the manufacturer, right? So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this and show you how to save tons and tons and tons of money on your next order of FBA products. Okay guys, so you're not gonna to wanna to miss a thing. So before we get started guys, I have one big favor to ask of you, and that is to span this video, okay? So what I mean by this is, hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe, okay? Because what that does is it pushes this video to other YouTube viewers, other Amazon FBA sellers who need to know how to save money on 1688. Because no one knows how to do this, and I want everyone to learn and so they could save money, you know, cut out the middleman, so to speak, with Alibaba, and get huge margins on Amazon FBA. That really mean the world to me, guys. If you just absolutely spam this video, right, comment away, like it, subscribe, right? If you can't think of anything to comment, uh, just type in Amazon FBA or stop using Alibaba, right? Or save tons of money uh, because everyone needs to know about this information on this video, uh, which just gets me more and more excited to get started, which I'm not gonna waste any more of your time. Let's dig into it. Okay, guys, we're on 1688 right now, right? And a lot of you right now, the first thing you'll notice is that it's in all Chinese, okay? So uh, don't be worried here. There's a way to get around this and I'll show you here just in a second. But I just wanna let you know, 1688, what this is, this is actually a website that's pretty much Alibaba, right? It's Alibaba for uh, Chinese retailers, Chinese uh, people looking for goods just like us here in the USA. The issue is that it's formatted for Chinese buyers instead of American buyers, uh, which you know, makes a lot of sense, right? That's why they created Alibaba.com and you know, that's why it's what we use uh, and it's what they built to contact uh, US buyers, right? Uh, but 1688 is the prime source of all goods and manufacturers in China uh, for the Chinese buyer, which means that the pricing is a lot more fair, okay? Because in China, uh, they're not going to overpay for things that they can get next door or, you know, down the city uh, just below them or, you know, wherever it is in China, right? Uh, so the first thing, right, is we got to figure out this whole Chinese to English uh, debacle, okay? So all you have to do, guys, is just right click, go down to translate to English, okay? So uh, it also pops up right up here, guys, if you see my cursor, and you can also download a Google Translate Chrome extension, but uh, this works just fine. But there's an issue on the home page for some reason. I, at this time, if I translate this, it just breaks. Uh, it, it does not work. Uh, don't worry, this doesn't affect anything. But for some reason, uh, in the last three or four months, uh, this has not worked that well uh, on the home page. but uh, they should fix it. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to bypass that right now. And so if I just type in, you know, lemon squeezer right up here, right, you can also just reload it if that's bothering you. But if we do translate to English right here, where it actually matters, right, where we're gonna get pricing and everything like that, it works just fine, okay? So don't panic if it doesn't work on the home page, guys. Uh, just go straight uh, to the product page uh, and it should work just great for you, okay, guys? So next, right, so let's just pretend we have a product we wanna source, okay? Let's just get into a nitty gritty uh, example. That way you guys can apply it to your own products, right? And so if we go to Amazon, right, uh, first thing that pops up to mind is uh, exercise bands, right? It's a hot product. Uh, it sells thousands and thousands, right? I'm sure somebody out there has tried to source it. Uh, I don't recommend it because it's a little saturated, but it's a great example for us to start sourcing on 1688 here, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is go ahead and type in exercise band. And you can see, I've typed it in previously, hit that. Okay, so we can see it loaded here. Uh, every time, uh, a little annoying thing, but it's so worth uh, the money you're gonna save uh, compared to Alibaba. Uh, you're gonna have to translate to English every time the page loads, okay? So the first thing I notice here, guys, is there's only four results that popped up here, okay? So that can't be right, because we go to Alibaba and type in exercise bands, we're gonna get thousands of results, okay? So the issue is on 1688.com is that it's formatted for Chinese, right? Uh, so it doesn't understand my little, uh, you know, English exercise bands search term here, right? There's a couple people who have obviously put in the search term uh, for you here uh, in English, so they'd pop up, which is very smart on their part, so you 
uh, you know, can see their manufacturer and their products, but I wanna see all the manufacturers on 1688, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take exercise bands and we're gonna go to Google Translate, uh, Google Translate to Chinese, right? And we're just gonna go ahead and type in exercise bands, okay? And so we're gonna grab this, and you guys just need Chinese simplified here, uh, nothing else, and copy this, go back to 1688 here, and we are going to go ahead and type that in, and we are gonna hit enter. All right, guys, and then we're gonna translate to English, and you can see already, uh, instead of four, we have 3,345,000 uh, search results here, guys. And you can see there's tons more options, right? Uh, so 1680 is obviously meant uh, for the Chinese language, and so that's the best way uh, to you know, start sourcing for your product, which is super easy, right? Uh, another way, guys, if you're looking for something very specific, right, uh, something else you can try uh, that might be a little quicker, it doesn't work, uh, you know, as well as it, you know, might be able to in the future, right? Because it's probably new uh, and the, you know, technology isn't up to, up to par to do this. But right here, you can see this little camera guy right here. So what 1688 allows you to do is upload a photo and image of your product you're looking for, and then it's going to come back and say, here it is, right? If it finds it, right? Obviously, it's not perfect. Uh, you can imagine uh, the technology it takes to kind of identify an image and then go find the image, right? Uh, but we're going to try it anyways to see what we come up with. And so uh, you guys know how to use it uh, for your product if you're looking for something super specific uh, that you want to find right away. So we can just go uh, use this example on Amazon here. Here We're going to click this guy. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Save Image As, right? So we're looking for this guy, so we're saving. And then we're going to go ahead and go over here, click this little guy right here, and we're going to grab uh, this guy right here. So that loads guys, right? And you can see your product right up here. Uh, and then it's gonna pop up uh, with something they think is super similar, right? Which there's a ton of super similar ones right here. Obviously it's not these same exact ones. Uh, you know, up here there's, you know, the top searches are a little off, right? And so, uh, you know, it's, it's not perfect, but it's a great way if you're looking for something very specific uh, to search. And I just wanna show you guys that as well. Okay, so let's go back uh, to our Chinese searches and let's go find a great manufacturer there, guys. So we're back on the main search, right, guys, uh, with the Chinese search terms here. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start looking for suppliers, not products, okay? So we see a ton of products here, but we wanna find suppliers, right? And we're gonna find the best suppliers possible for our product. So it's always best to hit supplier right up here. So it loads suppliers, right, guys? So obviously we gotta do uh, translate to English here again, right? I know it's a little annoying, but again, uh, it's worth the extra savings that is about to come down for you and your Amazon business, okay? And so we go down here and we could see, uh, it's, you know, it's, it's laid out very well here and we can see what kind of products they have one by one here, right? And so first to narrow it down again, because we have a ton of uh, companies here, we're gonna go ahead and sort by a few more criteria to limit it down to find the best suppliers out there, okay? And so I'll go through each one of these. So this is a region right here, don't worry about this. Uh, business again don't worry about this because you know the business models right here trader production right uh, and that's not always accurate uh, they can put in whatever they want there obviously so next guys we have number of employees okay so this is actually the first criteria I think is super important okay so uh, something to know here and something about you know the thinking I have about this is that if you have five people or less it's most likely going to be a trade company right it's gonna be a small company people in a small office just talking on the phone trying to push product right and the problem with the trade company is it's not the direct source of the product okay so it's not going to be the best pricing you're going to pay the middleman fee which is something we want to try to avoid in this scenario right in five to 50 people, it's getting to that range too where it's probably a trading company or a small factory, right? So what we want actually is between 51 to 500 people, okay? And so this is kind of that middle ground. So why this is the perfect range, guys, you know, 50 to 500 is because, you know, it, make sure they're not too small, right, where they're a trading company or they just can't produce goods uh, up to the speed or up to standards. And then they're also not too big where they're gonna ignore you, right, and not work with you to do you know, your 500 MOQ or, your, you know, your test orders, sample orders, uh, and be able to work with you just in general as a small buyer, okay? You know, if we go to these bigger ones, you know, over a 1,000, over a 500, uh, these are be people working with like Walmart and Target, right, and big companies that, you know, it's probably not going to be worth their time to reach back out to you and really work with you uh, down to the level that you need, okay? And so that's why we're going to do 50 to 100 people here uh, or 100 to 500 people here, guys. 
So let's start with 50 to 100 here. We go down and we see already that we've gone down to 26.98 uh, for amount of suppliers. Again, we have to translate uh, back to English. So the next one we're gonna worry about, guys, that's really important, is this powerful merchant over here, okay? Uh, so I think the translation is a little broken on this, but what this actually means is that, you know, 1688's ranked them a top seller, a top manufacturer that's, you know, delivers on time, you know, delivers with quality, right? No complaints and they sell a ton, right? So this is what we want. And people are doing very well, just like on Amazon. If they're on top of the search, it's because their product's good, right? Same thing here. So we're gonna hit powerful merchant right here, uh, which again, I'm not sure what the translation is supposed to be. Uh, translate to English right here again, uh, real quick. And then buyer guarantee uh, is also important. It's just saying that they have something like trade assurance on uh, like, like Alibaba, right? And that if something goes wrong, if they have late orders, uh, you can file a claim and they have some money backing that up, like a small insurance policy, right? Uh, so those are the two that are important on that side, right? And we obviously have the criteria of 50 to 100 people here. We can add 100 to 500 people if we'd like, uh, but we still have tons of factories to go through uh, already, guys, right? Okay, so next, guys, we wanna find a manufacturer that fits all our criteria, right? Uh, which most already do since we've already put in our uh, main criteria. But next, I'm gonna pick one that looks like they mainly just focus on our type of product, like I was talking about earlier, you know, and is a good standing with 1688, right? And so we could see this guy right here, uh, one of the first ones we saw, natural latex products, right? Which is fantastic, which is exactly what our product is. And, you know, they've been in business here with five years uh, on 1688. So that's a really good sign. 67 employees, also a great sign. Uh, the above information has passed the in-depth inspection certification, right? So they have uh, actually a certification from 1688 that's going to go to their factory and made sure uh, that everything is up to standards, right? So next guys, say we want to reach out to this factory. We're going to go ahead and click this guy right here and we're going to hit translate, of course. And you can see, you know, the images aren't going to translate uh, you know, to English here, uh, but we can see the products right here, right? They have a video that popped up right here. They have a chat right here, but we can see, you know, our bands right here. And we keep going down. Uh, we got bands right here, right? So this is our product essentially, right? Uh, so that's great. And it says it's 20 cents RMB. So this is actually uh, Wan, Chinese Wan. Uh, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, but this is what we want, guys. We want to figure out what the pricing is, uh, you know, what it's, going to look like moving forward and what we can compare it to on Alibaba itself, right? And so if we take RMB right here, it's 0.2 and we go to Wan to USD, right? If we just Google that and we type in right here, 0.2, that's three cents USD, right? If I round up. Uh, so you can see already what the power of, you know, 1688 and using it properly can do for you, okay? And so if we go back, right? You know, we can see things are a little more expensive here. I'm guessing it's three cents a band per piece, but still, if you get a five pack, like our, our main listing we're looking at, uh, that's what, 15 cents uh, for a whole pack right there, guys. So that's incredible. And if you sell it for, you know, 10.99, I think it was, uh, that's a potentially huge margin, okay? And so next guys say we're like, okay, they have what I want, this is awesome. Uh, you know, it's a really good price. Next, we wanna contact the manufacturer, right? And so everything else has been pretty straightforward to this point. Uh, this is the only time it gets a little confusing and can get a little uh, more difficult, right? But it's actually not that bad at all. So don't worry, uh, don't get frustrated or anything like that. Uh, but let me take you through the steps to actually reach out to this manufacturer, okay? So the first thing I look at is the company's main page, okay? So in this case, it just takes me back to 1688 uh, to their main page there, uh, which is understandable. That just means they're not on Alibaba and that means they don't have their own website, right? Uh, which means that no one else is finding them, right? That means they can be exclusive to you, okay? And so it gets really easy, guys, when this link takes you to their website or Alibaba, right? On Alibaba, you know how to reach out and it becomes very simple there. That's the first thing you wanna do. Okay, next, guys, uh, is using this telephone number on WeChat, okay? So if you're familiar with WeChat, that's great, that probably means you've been talking to other manufacturers in the past, right? Uh, anybody who sources from China probably has a WeChat because that's how they talk and communicate. Uh, so put this number in on WeChat and reach out via that. You can give them your email, uh, ask them the best means of communication uh, and make sure they speak English, right? Uh, things like that, okay? Next, guys, is this little guy right up here, okay? This little chat guy right here, he's around here multiple places, okay? So you can actually click this guy right here and a chat bubble will instantly appear on your screen, okay? The hard part about this, right, and this is gonna be the best way to do this, but it's the hardest one to get over the little hump of it, right? So 
when you hit this, you're gonna actually have to sign up for something called Ali Wang Wang, okay? Uh, so you can download it on your desktop, right? And then you have to make a profile and then you have to sign in, right? Uh, which is kind of a pain because it's in Chinese, right? But if you stay patient and you, you know, just take your time, take your steps, set up the account, right? Uh, you should be all good to go there. Once you're logged in on desktop, you can click this little guy and you can literally just send an instant message uh, to the manufacturer, right? And say, hey, uh, I'd love to learn more. Please reach out to me this. My US-based company would love to start uh, communicating and figuring out if we can form a long-term partnership, right? So those are the best ways to contact your manufacturer on 1688, right? Look around, you know, talk to more than one, try to reach out for more than one. It's gonna be easier to talk to one uh, than the other, right? Especially if they have Alibaba, right? That just takes you right there. Uh, but just know if they don't have an Alibaba, right? That most likely means that this is gonna be your exclusive manufacturer no one else is using, okay? So just reach out to more than one and just, you know, keep doing it, right? Uh, you know, it's a kind of repetitive motion and you're just gonna get better and better at doing it and you're gonna find the best manufacturers possible at the best prices possible, guys. Okay, guys, that is it. I hope this was enjoyable. Again, spam down below likes, comments. Uh, let me know how you like this. Uh, you know, this is gonna save you a ton of money if used correctly, uh, and it's the true, true number one source of finding your direct manufacturers in China. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>